What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on Cycle Fanatics. I'm on my way over by Dave to JD Cycle Works in Nazareth, Pennsylvania because my paint came in the blue, Fastback Blue, for the Street Bob. I am going to be painting the Memphis Shades front fairing so this way it matches the bike. It's, I think it's just going to look absolutely awesome. I was going to paint the side panels by the engine, but I'm not gonna do that. I actually seen a bike, somebody sent me a picture of a bike, and I'm not, uh, it looks good, but I'm not too crazy about it. I think I'm going to leave the engine as it is. So I'm only gonna be painting the front fairing blue. I think it's gonna look absolutely awesome color matched. And then we'll see what else Dave has going on at the shop. But as you guys could see, I am not in the truck. I am in the Audi TTRS. I actually picked it up yesterday. After it being gone for eight months, yes, eight months it was gone. I blew number two cylinder and I had to basically get the engine redone. I do have a stage three big turbo kit on the car now, uh, running 93, two files, either 93, or ethanol E85. So if you guys are interested uh, in some car content because something really cool, not this weekend, but next weekend, April 16th, we will be at NJMP, that is New Jersey Motorsports Park, to do some quarter mile roll racing with some huge, huge YouTubers out there and some really, really fast cars. It's gonna be the thousand horsepower or less class this car right now i'll show you guys in a second the cockpit my audi ttrs we're pushing probably 800 a little over 800 on e85 let me show you guys how the cockpit looks if you guys like i said are new to this channel click subscribe here head on over to auto fanatics show me some love over there if you guys love car stuff we're gonna have an absolutely amazing, amazing video for you guys here in about a week and a half doing the race motive quarter mile roll racing at NJMP. I cannot wait. 2021 Audi TTRS. It has a built motor done by IROS Motorsports in Las Vegas, Nevada. And then all the rest of the work done by TCR Performance in Lacey, New Jersey. Full stage three, big turbo, has the Black Forest, high performance engine mounts, full exhaust, Unitronic intake, downpipes, running. There's my gauge right there. Right now we're running the 93 file. It's reading ethanol content. So it's reading E10 because 93, if you guys don't know, 93 pump gas is 10% ethanol. So that's why it's only reading E10. But when I do either take it to the track or at these events, I will be running E85. So I only have to plug in my laptop to the OBD2 connector and basically just upload the Unitronic Stage 3 E85 file. And that gives me, I believe it's about a little over 800 horse. The car was never dyno tuned, so I'm gonna I'm going basically by other numbers that other people are getting with similar builds, but the car is absolutely ridiculous. It's probably, I'm gonna say somewhere, um, probably prepped surface somewhere in the mid nines uh, as far as quarter mile. And we're gonna see what it's gonna be able to do for uh, quarter mile roll racing. There's gonna be a lot of other cars there that are going to have a little more horsepower but a lot of them are gonna be coming in really pretty heavy, over 4,000 pounds, where this car is only around 3,200 pounds. So it's, it's, really, it's a really light car. This car's an absolute animal. We're almost at Dave, JD Cycle Works. We're going to pick up the fairing he doesn't even know that I'm coming, but I actually just got a text message that the paint is finally in at Harley-Davidson, Bergen County, Harley-Davidson. So I'm gonna pick the paint up, grab the fairing, bring it over to the auto body so that could get started on paint. 
And also, I want to show you guys, I don't know if we're going to be changing out the cam to the Woods 22XE. I don't know if they've got the risers and the bars. I want to show you guys that stuff. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for all your support. Also, I want to give my members, my channel members, and my Patreon members a gigantic shout out for their continued support. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. We here, we're gonna pull the fairing off. Off the bike right here, just sitting and waiting. <laughs> and get that painted blue and the bolts, I think, and keep that. That's the car, guys. If you've never seen it, head on over to Auto Fanatics. If you guys like car content, let's go inside. Dave's on the dyno, and I'll show you guys what he's working on. <laughs> What's up? What's up, buddy? Nothing. What do you do? Another day of excitement. <laughs> working, working, right? Yeah. Yeah, check this mess out. What do you got going on? I'm getting eaten alive. This primary here. Uh-huh. Look at the stator and the tensioner. Wow. Those, those are the magnets which were inside the stator Holy rotor. Holy cow. It just totally got consumed and consumed everything inside there. Jeez. Yeah, so the inside and here's here's what inside that drum sludge. Well, it's just oh, man. Man. It's from the sta new stator rotor. That's just totally got eaten up. Wow. And we just, we just think it. Um, we think honestly it was one without oil. Oh really? You know that's what's first one. Like. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh jeez! Now yeah. I notice. The pads are mm -hmm. gone. Yeah, the magnets, yep. yep. Oh my goodness. It creates your voltage for charging system. Wow. <laughs> and this here is, is supposed to be one smooth piece with that arc. Right. Holy cow. What a mess. Destruction. Yeah. <laughs> Fully consumed. Oh, okay, that's kind of exciting. Very yeah. funny. Back here. This one, you go this face that, this way in. So you think with that oil, you're saying? Yeah. That's what we think. Yeah. We think we'll close it. But I use a six-speed um, drive your socket from the solder. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so got a little... What do you got? Little little uh, present for the viewers? Little... Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's just some more testing going on. We have um, here. Nice. A bike with a 22XE in it. 22XE, so that's the cam we're waiting on so we could put into the well, street, Bob, right? came in yesterday afternoon. Yes. Huh? It came in yesterday. Oh, it did? Okay. So got gotcha. Get gotcha. This has some mufflers that a friend of mine at West End is making. Mm -hmm. um, they're, uh, they're called Penn Steel muffler. Like Designed around 100% a low-end torque muffler. Uh-huh. And they don't sound bad. Mm-hmm. You know, so right now we have a torque cam. 114, right? 114, a torque muffler. And uh, not bad. Let's see what he rolled in with. Not bad. He had a little bit of pickup. Now, this is the 22XE here. Uh huh. With this muffler, which is, like I said, it's a torque producing muffler. Mm -hmm. And you can see where the graph's coming out with. You know, so it, it comes on earlier. Right. If we compare it to yours. So with this exhaust heat, with the 22XE, he's got 113 horse and 126 torque? Yep, but it gotcha. starts pretty early. So let's right. see what it looks like with with good old Faithful. Let me find your graph with your chrome works in the 475. And we can see how it's going to probably be a lot, show a lot more low end torque. But again, it's just different options for people. Right. And different things we're testing as we do them. I have to go to the last one because that's usually the one way I go with. So you can see here, this is Silverback with the 475 cam when she was a 114 mm -hmm. with the Chromeworks. He does have a little bit of a more low end torque kick here, mm -hmm. but it lays down here. Right. And that's where you just kind of mid and take over. Right, right. Which is not bad. It's a different way to, right. to do it. And these mufflers are, um, they're helping produce this torque too. Right. You want to hear them? Sure. 
And the exhaust, obviously, like you always say, it's a huge, it plays a huge yeah. factor, yeah. a huge role yeah, the exhaust. in how the power, how your torque kicks on, right? Everything. Yeah, it does, it does. Let's see how these things sound. <laughs> Sure, absolutely. And and again, people might not want it super because like my bike, yeah. I love the sound. Chromeworks yeah. for me is number one. But yeah. when you get off after a long ride, yeah, your, your head's buzzing. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. and this is another option. No matter what, I mean, power and torque are are very good. Yeah. But like I said, obviously, I'm gonna have the Bassani on there, yeah. so it's gonna be again totally different. So I can't wait to see how your two two XE works. Right. With your system versus the other ones. Right, right. Because right now we're having some data on this cam that I'm actually been paying attention to. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, so it's kind of good. And the other one is, if I can find his the other customer with him. Here's another touring one, but he had um, a power dual head pipe and Vanson Hines mufflers mm -hmm. with like a big baffle. Gotcha. So now we're going to go back to this person here. And this is actually going to show how exhaust is so critical on how you're going to design your torque curve. It's nice to tune here. You got the window on a nice rainy yeah, day. You just yeah, sit yeah. here and tune these yeah, get the beautiful bikes. <laughs> so here we go. Now here's interesting. Check it out. Wow. The maximum torque. This one's a little shakier. Yeah. Maybe a tire balance. Them. But it's pretty close. Right. The horsepower is pretty close. But comes on heavy early. But look how hard this thing yeah. kicks now with this different muffler. Right. And different head pipe. It's all in the muffler. Right. Because the head pipe... the Vance and Hunt's power duel and what's on this is kind of similar. Right. You know, but look at the difference of that torque. Wow. Same cam. Right. And what air cleaner did he have? Same air filters. So yeah, from, two, from 2000 to like 3500. It's huge, yep. huge. Uh, yep. Comes they, on hard. Right. They're both using the stock Harley Davidson high flow ventilator air filter. Hmm. It's the same one that's on your bike. Right, right. You know, so this is pretty cool. Same cam, similar bike, different muffler. Look at the difference. Amazing. Yeah, so maybe we could overlay when you're done with mine, maybe overlay on this. I'm oh, curious definitely. to see how it looks. But uh, yeah, that's definitely interesting. I can't wait. Um, so Dave's going to overlay all this info uh, for you guys when when he's got the cam in yep. the street, Bob. That's yep. fantastic. And hopefully throughout this next week, we'll have that data. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. And then who knows? Maybe we'll try another one. I don't know. Great. It depends on timing ability. Yeah. So also, I told you guys that we're going to be changing out the bars. This is exactly, Dave has the parts, right? So yeah. Dave's going to show you what we're going to be putting on the street, Bob. Yeah. You have round two for our cam. Oh, another night prowler. Yeah. But this is the uh, 22XE. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the so we're going to be putting that in. First time seeing it. Oh. Check that out. That's nice. nice. Display. Look at that. I don't think you're trying to spare the staples, though, are they? That is nice. Yeah, that's a lot of staples for one time in the box. Is the other side the same? Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh, great. And this one has the cutout for, that's where the, my instrument panel, little instrument panel is yeah. going to go right yeah, that's there. that's very nice. That's a nice piece. Beautiful really. ARP looking bolts on there. I know, right? Maybe <laughs> say ARP. Yeah, imagine. Actually, they do say ARP, don't they? Holy cow! Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a that's a super high quality bolt. Oh hell yeah! I got them in the car. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, that's nice to see. So the bolts are alone are two hundred dollars. Well, boy. <laughs> Today's day and age. Yeah, this is this is a really really nice. This is where we're putting on a nine and a half inch pulled back rise on the street, Bob. Here is a handlebar. Ah, oh, see, that's what I like. This is the best thing that's that that's oh, yeah, that's, that's on beautiful. here. Made in America. We need to see that on every <laughs> single product that we opened the box for now for now. That's on. that's right. <laughs> I dream of that day. I know. So where everything we open says made in America. And this is the uh, bar, right? Mid bend. We got a thrashing. Uh, it's like a four inch rise mid bend bar. Yep. Really nice. Oh yeah, that's going to look good. Look at that. Oh, nice. Engraved. Another flag. 
Beautiful. Love it. Keep that covered up for now. Protect it. Cool. So now all you need to do is install it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, we'll, get, we'll figure it out. We'll get awesome. It. All right, Dave. Thanks. I'll, I guess I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you hopefully next week. Hopefully if not, the following week. week. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me know. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. Very good. Good to see you. Oh my God! Rain all day yesterday when I picked up this car. Rain all day today. All right, guys. Here at Bergen Harley, they do have a lowrider ST. Let me show you guys how it looks. bigger than me. <laughs> How we do it? Step down. <laughs> I should have left that on the video. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. That's funny you only you only got one in, huh? Yeah, Yeah, that is sweet. I sat on it in, uh, at, when we were uh, in Florida. My favorite view is the cockpit. Ah, isn't it great? It just looks like a fire pilot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, it, and it's really, really comfortable with the riser set up and mm -hmm. the bars. Mm -hmm. It's got the same uh, the bags, I think. They probably took off the sport glide now, clamshell. It does look that way. Yeah, yeah. real nice. Yeah, the riser. Very nice. Up. Yep. This cool, sweet, tight angle yeah, here. Yeah, love it. You got a little kick out fin here. Yep. And then this pops out. You can put that Rockford right. Fosgate, right? Radio right. system in. And my customer that was just here earlier today, that's exactly what he's doing. He's already pre ordered his oh, Fosgate. Uh -huh. yeah. Gotcha. Nice. Yep. Super nice. Mm -hmm. This one, I'm sure, is sold already. It is. It's <laughs> been sold for a while. Yeah. Uh, Probably all of them, right? Like, as soon as they come off, it's already, they're gone. Yeah, the ones that are already on their way to us are. However, yeah. we have an ordering time slot available coming up, and we're going to try to get some more of them. Oh, gotcha. So if anybody's interested yeah. in getting this. If you guys don't know, this is Big Lou. Come check him out here at Bergen uh, Harley. He'll help you out with any bike you guys are interested in. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so the, fair, the whole fairing is beautiful. Yeah. If anybody's it. interested, it is still a good time to, to contact us. Yep, absolutely. Beautiful. All right, guys, I got the paint. One pint of Fastback Blue to paint the Memphis Shades fairing. It is nasty out. It's been raining all day yesterday, all day today. Got the bad boy right there. But anyway, I'm going to go home now. Actually, I'm probably going to stop by uh my auto body guy to get this uh fairing painted but they do have a bunch of street glide sts and road glide sts if you guys are interested give big lou a call here at bergen harley davidson oh boy just got home but literally horrible outside it, it's been coming down no joke for the past two days non-stop pouring rain um that's about it on this video but stay tuned i do i did like i said i showed you guys i picked up the paint i cannot wait to paint that fairing and to bring it back when the bike's ready over by dave i have another cool video for you guys that i want to do two that are going to be coming up one is going to be about heated gear if you guys don't know yet i rock the gerbing heated gear that's I, we ride all year long i rock the gerbing heated gear keeps me warm in a winter on winter rides it's absolutely amazing and gerbing just hooked me up big time i'm going to show you guys what they sent me a whole bunch of 12 volt stuff as well as uh an assortment of seven volt battery stuff which is which is absolutely amazing i've been using it for the past uh, couple weeks and it works really well and then i have another good video uh because i do have to change all of the fluids on silverback i'm going to show you guys what 
we are going to use for now and the future. So stay tuned for that. But appreciate you guys. Peace out. Hopefully when this nasty, crappy weather stops, I could get some great content, some great videos for you guys. Hope that's soon. Rains a lot here in the Northeast. Peace out.